It'll be up for a month. This is Amanda Melly with Andrea Newland at the Palmer Public Library. She's putting on an art exhibit for the month of May. So, what's going on? Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Um, it's kind of like a retrospective of my life, really. So work from the past, newer work, a lot of variety. It, yeah, I can see that. I kind of walked in and it was just like, oh my god. Um, so where do you get, I mean, obviously yourself, it's very evident, but where do you get a lot of your inspiration from? Um, inspiration from my family. Some are like portraits of friends and family, um, from my travels, mm -hmm. and from dreams and fashion magazines nice. and thinking up concepts and then trying to create a painting based around that concept. Right. So some of them are kind of a narrative. They tell a story but it's up to the viewer what the story is. Okay. So it's kind of like a where's Waldo of like what's happening in this painting. Yeah, <laughs> um, so Ryan, the videographer, ha -ha, um, we were actually like walking around and we were giggling because one was, uh, oh really? And the title was, yes really. <laughs> and we're like hysterical over it. So we were wondering what that story might be or do we need to come up with one? Cause well, what do you think I, it is? It's just so you. It's so new to me. It's so like, hey, I'm, I'm playing with you. I'm spunky and I'm playing. Like, I don't know. Um, that one is very like pink and pretty, but kind of messy at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like this girly, like, and then this sarcastic, oh, really? Oh. So it's kind of like a play on like feminism and just really? humor. Yeah, that's awesome. And messy life. Messy, I like mm -hmm. mess. Okay, you have to tell me about that one. The out of myself? If you don't mind. Yeah, so that one's out intense. of myself, I stretched um, fabric on canvas and then I blocked out certain areas of the fabric that I wanted to save, so some of the flowers. And then I painted over stuff and then I did a self-portrait in the mirror. So it's kind of playing with layers and making decisions of how much paint do you put down, mm -hmm. how much do you need to, to show what you're trying to say. So it's just kind of like a serious self-portrait. It's really serious. It's very kind of layered. playful at the same time. Um, I heard self-portraits were probably one of the hardest things to do, but you seem to have nailed it. Is that Thank it? you. I feel like self-portraits, you see them a lot because as an artist, you're always your own best model. You right. always have yourself and a mirror to paint from. So if you're doing a study for something, if it's just like a random person, you always have like your own face to look at. So sometimes right. artists they show up in their paintings a lot because you don't have like a model hanging around the studio right, all the time. Right, right, you're inspired. <laughs> hey, it's two o'clock in the morning. Um, these. So these are yeah. um, cast rhubarb leaves made with concrete and it's made with quickcrete. So it um, can hold water. You can put it in your garden as like a bird bath or like on your kitchen table for like a fruit bowl mm -hmm. and they're just so beautiful because they pick up every vein and detail of the actual leaf so it's almost like a fossil right and I just love working in lots of different media and yeah because I mean you're doing this too right so you're mm -hmm. sewing yep so I love sewing as well doing crazy patchwork and it kind of plays off like when I paint and get sick of painting then I can go <laughs> sew yep. and think about like shape and color and pattern and just kind of work in a different way. Yeah. And they oh kind of complement each other. Yeah, you have variety and layers and depth and, and so much stuff. What, do you have a favorite? Can I tell you, can I ask that? Is um, that fair to ask? Probably Flirty Bird. Oh, we were giggling about that one too. <laughs> <laughs> she's my favorite. It's Flirty. Yeah, she's it's like so kind of coy. Um, so that one I painted in college and I was just making a mess with paint and yeah. drawing and and then I saw a bird, so I kind of added a couple details to pull the bird out of it. Wow. So it's kind of like abstraction working into realism. It so is. you just kind of work until you see something and then highlight it to make that thing obvious. I can see that now. Wow. Um, so what about LA? What's going on with LA? I was with the LA couch scene? Yeah. So that one I did a, um, 
collage with magazines and playing with kind of space and objects and like chopping up people's legs and adding <laughs> jewels and kind of just like <laughs> depth yeah. in the background of like the palm trees. And when I painted that, like I had never been to the West Coast, so it's kind of like dreaming of California yeah. and kind of imagining. And I've since been, and it's exactly like that. I so, and you loved it? Yeah, oh, it was God. awesome. That is cool. Donuts? Donuts. Donuts. Yeah. So? So donuts I painted <laughs> in the studio one night just because I wanted to paint donuts and look at, think about form and the colors, red and green, mm -hmm. kind of throw, throwing back to Vincent van Gogh, love doing complimentary colors. Uh -huh. So I painted that and then they had a call for artists to paint utility boxes in downtown Springfield. Okay. So I was coming up with all what what's historical to Springfield, what could I do? And there's some like donut shop that's been there forever and then oh. I just thought I'll just submit this picture to see if... I think this will make people smile. So I got accepted, so I painted that painting, entirely covered a donut box with enamel paint, um, and it was so much fun. I probably talked to like 200 people in like oh the God. three days I was painting it. Right. Um, it was right outside a parking lot, and one day this guy was driving out and he was like, did you know that there's a big group of like police and FBI in town today at a conference and they're like using this parking lot? So it was just like this funny joke about like oh my God. Oh donuts my God. and <laughs> one guy would ride by on his bike every day and be like, and you're, doing the donuts. you're killing it girlfriend. Yeah. And I'm, I just met so many people. It was so much fun. That's awesome. You put real pictures in your painting. Like yeah. So I just glued them on. Yeah. So that one is stretch fabric and then it's kind of like photo collage with painting. So there's a photo of the Indian Ocean outside the window wow. and then a magazine in the back of the room so it makes the room feel really like a lot of depth. There is so much. Yeah. And then there's two people sleeping in bed so that's like Shack by the Sea for two and it's about um, just having minimalism and mm -hmm. having just enough that you need and having love. And then in contrast the debutante's oh. living room oh. is having way too much stuff and more than she oh needs goodness. so it's kind of a contrast of and she kind she of to be alone too, though. She's alone. Mm -hmm. Wow. And there's lots of details in there. There's money burning up in her fireplace, and oh my goodness, a lot of stuff happening. So, so it's kind of like a I like that an eye spy. Wow. Of what's going on in here? That's incredible. And then kind of like life philosophies through yeah, you know, painting. That's great. Mm. And then there's dad. Yep, proud dad. Is that your dad? Yep, that's my dad. He ended up a model. Yep. There's my dad. There's my brother back here. Oh, wow. Um, I think that's all. Like, there's self portraits. Oh, my cousin Maggie at the pond. Oh. From my Lady Leg series. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then this glows in the dark, the stars. Yes, the, that one has some glow in the dark paint. So the stars and the it's reflection so of the stars glow. Oh, my God. Wow. And how long have you been doing art? Probably like my whole life. My grandmother was really artistic, so I just grew up drawing and appreciating art. Mm -hmm. And in high school, really getting into art. So then I found out there was college for art, so I went to there, and that's where I really kind of progressed a lot. Wow. So, and you just kind of, you've been doing it forever? Yeah. And you love it? Yeah, I love it. And you do, oh my God. Did you always know, like, or was it? You know, did you just, you knew you were going to do art or? Yeah, like I love like writing and theater and kind of all like the, the artsy, artsy yeah. aspects of life. Right. And it's a fun way to, you know, if you can't travel, yeah. you can paint or write and tra it's like reading a book. Like yeah. come to Palmer Public Library, get a book. Right. You can travel to other places in your mind. Oh my God. Without having a lot of money, you yeah. know. You can Aww. paint like your. <laughs> If I want to go to LA, travels. I can go grab it. Right? Yeah. And now I have a story in LA. Is there anything that you want to talk about? Is there anything else that you want to... Um, I'm the art director of the Munson Art Camp that is hosted by Munson Parks and Rec and the Munson Arts Council. So the art camp will run the last two weeks of July, July 17th through 21st, and the 24th through the 
28th. And the first week is going to be an art and nature theme, and the second week is going to be a theater theme. We take a field trip each week. We have lots of different teachers and activities, and it takes place at Quarry Hill Community School. So if people are interested in signing their kids up for camp, they can contact Munson Parks and Recreation Department. Thank you so much to the Palmer Public Library for hosting. If anyone is interested in having an art exhibit here, they mm -hmm. can um, contact Denise Fontaine. Mm -hmm. She sets up the shows. Okay. And I just love the library and browsing around. They have an amazing arts and crafts section, mm -hmm. lots of books if you want to learn how to do anything. Um, and it's just such a great space and I'm glad to be here and, and share my art. And it's up until May 31st. May 31st. All right. Thank you so much, Josh. You're welcome. Thank okay. you, Amanda.